Today we need to talk about Jungkook addressing haters and what he has said recently about them. I also want to get into Jungkook getting emotional or at least he was believed to be after people said the Grammys insulted him. And then we need to talk about Jungkook being told to leave BTS. So you don't believe this is Dave to decide hater or not, make sure you subscribe you're with the notification bell on. We have Dublin, it's Blink Mug merch and let's go. We have a lot of trending topics today about Jungkook. One of them was Jungkook goes solo. And this is something that a lot of fans have been tweeting about. And it seems that not only people who only support Jungkook, but not the rest of the group, but it seems a lot of non-K-pop fans support this idea that Jungkook should make his own music. However, that decision to leave is entirely up to him. And I want to preface that Jungkook has never shown any interest in wanting to go solo for the entirety of his career. BTS's band was also trending and it has the same sentiment about Jungkook leaving. A lot of the more general audience that maybe wasn't a big fan of BTS but then being a fan of Jungkook and then wanting Jungkook to go solo comes from a place that makes me upset because I don't feel the general population has ever given BTS as a group a chance, has never given the music even really a listen. Most of them don't even bother to listen because unlike Jungkook's recent album, BTS as a group had and has literally no intention of creating just solely English music. And this is why I believe the general audience here in the US would refuse to listen to BTS's music. This idea comes from a place of xenophobia and terrible ideas that music in Korean or any Asian language is going to be less than. It comes from this idea that any song that doesn't rank on the billboards or iTunes is really bad music. This is very interesting as you'll see people who come from an international background to the US, they'll ask questions like, oh, is this artist big in the US or are they big on other international charts? Whereas most people in the US are not even aware that most other international charts exist or that even ranking on those those charts could be deemed as a higher form of success. Another example of this is when every person in the US says that the Super Bowl is the biggest stage for an artist and those who are actually popular would perform on that stage. The Super Bowl has an audience of 300 million people, maybe. The World Cup has like 2 billion. But just because people here in the US don't watch the World Cup, they don't realize anyone who has performed at the World Cup then performing at the Super Bowl is actually a step down. And many artists that rank in international charts then ranking in the US charts is not them upgrading but actually downgrading. I hope people understand the world is so much bigger than the US and thus music is best loved when it represents culture from all around the world and not just one region. I hope people understand Jungkook creating English music is great but if and when he goes back to Korean music that is just as good if not better. And I hope people can stop asking Jungkook to go solo as he creates great music and is happier when he is with his members. And he has actively mentioned before that he cannot wait to fulfill his 2025 contract and be reunited with BTS members because Jungkook says he misses them all. Jungkook has talked about haters and I think it's as good a time as ever to talk about what he says about them and how he feels about said haters. But before we do, I have to give some backstory. I think with the members going solo, it has been very tough because not only is it a very stark and deep contrast from what they're used to, it's also tough to figure out everything themselves. They start to realize how much they rely on themselves for their work, like writing lyrics or the dynamic that exists in the studio. Also, since the group has many built-in rappers, there's never really a need for a feature on their songs as the rapper would usually just jump in for them. So it's already very and extremely stressful season for all the members doing their own thing. There's been a huge war on top of that with people who support other members individually and want only their member to succeed and become successful and want all the other members to fail and burn. Because no matter who they support, all the members are a part of BTS. Naturally, sooner or later, even if you don't want to, you'll see the other member pop up up on your feed. So then it adds people saying things like, imagine celebrating Jungkook's album release. This has sparked a lot of questions as to if Jungkook would like it if someone who claimed to support one member is sending hate to others, or if this is something other members would want. And thus, if you're not listening to that, how can you call yourself a supporter? Well, Jungkook has addressed haters and what haters say. He has said that he actually appreciates the hate comments because that means people are making time for him to leave a hate comment. And to add on top of that, I would like to say it also means Jungkook is taking up free real estate in someone's mind. The worst thing you can do to a public figure is not send hate. That I think has been proven over and over again as something that is ineffective because as long as they're getting the attention, they can monetize that and keep making money, which would in turn keep them going. Because if they can make money doing it, why would they stop? However, what stops someone from doing something is if they can't make money because sooner or later, they'll need to get a job to support themselves and then they 
they won't have enough time to pursue what they were initially doing. So haters giving any person attention is fueling their career. So if you don't like Jungkook, then don't pay attention and let him do his own thing. And if he ends up getting more and more successful, then maybe realize the initial opinion you had about Jungkook being a bad person was wrong. Because we live in the day and age where, yeah, a bad person can have a career for a year or two, but four, five, 10 years? No, that person has a career and it's because they're actually good at what they do. I'm very excited that we live in a space now where I think most people can recognize talent and people who deserve to be successful. And I feel like Jungkook definitely deserves that. It's been tough because while we, the regular people and audience can recognize that, the industry still likes to gatekeep awards and only give awards to people they like. For example, the Grammys are run by a bunch of old white men. They are more likely going to pick people to win awards based on who they like and based on the faces they want to see more of. And this is sad because anyone new coming into the industry might not have a chance. But I will say there is an update on BTS or any BTS member not getting a Grammy or any of these types of awards. Award winners are paid more and this is because when they're pitched or submitted to things that pay them, they can say my artist is a Grammy winner. So you need to pay the Grammy winner fee. And sometimes this prices them out of said opportunity. A lot of brands nowadays see the power of even the smaller, less well-known artists and ask them to join their brand because they're cheaper, their supporters are more of a cult following and stronger, and the brand can have a big impact as well. So by BTS not winning a Grammy, it can still keep them in those big opportunities and quite honestly, they really don't need the money. But that's my opinion. The Grammys recently announced their award list and who is being nominated and that sort of stuff. Armies were furious that Jungkook was not only on that list given his extremely popular solo career thus far, people were thinking that at least seven needs to be on the nomination list because of the record it broke. It was the fastest song to reach a billion streams on Spotify ever, and that definitely deserves a Grammy nomination. However, with the uproar online, I don't think people understand how nominations and Grammys work. Every year, every song that is successful or was made by a popular producer was submitted for Grammy nomination consideration. So the Academy can go and choose which deserves to be nominated. The submission ends on July 18th, or at least for this year. I forgot for the other years. Seven had officially been released on July 14th, and I believe Seven hit that one billion stream in like three months. Seriously impressive. But that is way after the submission was closed, meaning he could get the nomination on 2025, but he will be in the service likely. But when I see these hate comments and people complaining, I want to say this. If you paid attention to how Grammys have worked with any other artists, you can understand how this works because every US artist has talked about that submission date. And a lot of artists were specifically releasing music way before that date so they can get a nomination. But if you didn't know, now you know. And Jungkook can definitely be considered later. However, him not being considered now could also mean that Jungkook and his team had no intention of campaigning for this album to be in consideration. He doesn't need that award to be successful or anything. You've seen so many artists, Justin Bieber, Katy Perry, they all don't have a butt ton of Grammys and they're still widely successful and will still be considered successful and well known for many generations. People were saying this is making Jungkook emotional or this was Grammys insulting Seven's impact. No, timing is crucial for these things and they don't make exceptions for anyone. So even if Jungkook isn't all over the news and and all that by the next Grammy cycle, he could still get nominated. He may not get as many votes, but that will be up to armies or you guys. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Links just literally comment right here. Love you. Bye.